What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk, Eddie Hearn, Alexander Krusik, and Mike Coppinger. Get this. Breaking news, supposedly by Michael Coppinger. He says, Alexander Usyk has received permission from the Ukrainian sports minister to leave the country during war and will begin training camp for a summer rematch with Anthony Joshua for the Unified Heavyweight Championship, sources tell ESPN. Now, you guys already know that three days ago because I posted it, um, I did it simultaneously when I was on my live stream, okay, because I had to get that new news out there. However, there is some new news that supersedes this news, that counterpunches this news, and it's from Alexander Krusik. And this is what he had to say. He said, you mother, uh, you need to stop posting fake news about my fighters. I am telling you, stay away from all my fighters. Those were the words of Igis Klimas, okay? And he is the promoter of Alexander Usyk. All right. And he has connection with other fighters. Now, speaking of other fighters, we already heard today that Vasil Lomachenko is still going to remain in the Ukraine fighting. OK, and I think you can connect the dots by the miscommunication. Right. And the misinformation that was thrown around. I don't know where Matt Carpenter got his info from, but it seems to coincide with this. You have to stop pasting, uh, posting fake news because nobody said anything about anything. Now, did he? Uh, now, is he speaking for the the sports minister? Because it's not like him saying uh, I got it from Igis Klimas. He's saying that I got it from the <clears throat> the sports minister that they had permission to leave the country. So it's kind of up in the air, okay? Because. You can't get mad. Like if I found a, a source that told me so, a certain information, that's like someone saying, hey, someone coming back behind me be just because I reported it from the source that I had. Hey, you need to stop lying. OK, well, I'm only liable as my source. I'm only valid as my source. So at the end of the day, don't call me a liar. Call where I got it from a liar that I can go back and tell that particular person. But I haven't heard a rebuttal or a counter from Mike Coppinger. So, you know, that might have just shut him down. I don't know. I'm just assuming because I just got this information. OK, so obviously that pissed Igus Klimas off that, hey, stop spreading something of something that you don't know nothing about. Well, this is what I would do if I'm Igus Klimas. I would say exactly what's going on with Alexander Usyk. Uh, we already know what's going on with Vasil Lomachenko, but and, and the other fighters that it applies to. If it don't apply, let it fly. But if it does apply, we want to know why. Okay? Why does it apply? Bars. So I think this is what should be done. Instead of Igus Klimas getting emotional about Mike Coppinger, I think he should calm down, take a nice cold drink, and ask the right questions. Where did you get this information from? I know people at war. I know people are on angst. I know people have short fuses. But at the end of the day, we only know and we are only from the outside looking in. Okay, so I couldn't tell you what's going over there. Probably I could tell you as much as Mike Coppinger at this point. But obviously he had to get it from somewhere. So I think you need to find out where he got it from before cutting the head off the messenger. Okay, counterpunch. So I think that's what should be done besides blasting Mike Coppinger because all leads, all sources, all things that you hear are not absolutely true. But understand you do hear them doesn't mean you made them up. Okay, so to assume that you're automatically putting yourself in the same shit show you're accusing somebody else of for smelling like. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Igus Klimas blasting Mike Coppinger for the information that he let out about Alexander Usyk. So I would assume that it's a no. See, we don't know what's going on with Alexander Usyk still, right? So I'm assuming that it's still a no-go for Alexander Usyk. We can only assume. Until then, you guys let me know. And if I know, I will let everyone know. You guys tell me about this particular article. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!